on the left hand side and we're going to close up the hamburger and scroll down we're going to be focusing in on these reports that are in the accountant area and just give a little bit more detail on them and then we'll spend a little bit more time on the reconciliation reports typically thinking bank reconciliation because these reports are unique in that they're a little bit different from the other reports they're used for kind of like an internal control as opposed to being created as we do the data input and every company large and small whatever industry should be thinking about that reconciliation process because it's a huge check verification over the accuracy of your data now we're looking at the my accountant section so this would indicate that these are kind of reports that you might look at from an accountant standpoint possibly thinking then of your accountant or your cpa firm or your tax firm and that's where i would want to be thinking uh what's the end goal of us doing the data input whether we're a bookkeeper or whether we're doing our own company data input for small companies it's often tax preparation at the least which is going to be necessary at the end of the year and financial statement preparation possibly as well and therefore you want to always kind of keep the the end goal in mind and possibly have the tax preparation firm the accountant in the loop so as you're doing the data input you're going to have that end goal and make the the year end process as painless as you can now obviously at this these days we can provide more information to an accountant using quickbooks by adding them uh, as the accountant so that they can get access to the data so these are the reports that you might imagine that they would want to run you could actually run these reports i mean if you were in an, another accounting system or oftentimes you still might just say hey look i'm just going to give my accountant what they need balance sheet income statement trial balance and so on in order to do the job i'm asking them to do like tax preparation but if you have quickbooks it's likely that you might give them access to the software by adding them as an accountant so just a quick look on how to do that i'm going to hit the the hamburger and we're going to go down to the uh, accounting down or my accountant down below and there of course uh, an accountant be can be your best partner and so you can invite an accountant possibly giving them access allowing them to look through the through the reports that they need so then we can imagine these as the reports that possibly the accountant might be picking up so now let's say well why would these be accountant type of reports oftentimes it's because these reports are going to be using kind of debit and credit type of reports and giving more detail okay given that 